Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Mani and I'm here to talk about how to create XML views manually in Power Center. The agenda for today is to understand what are XML views and the various ways to generate the views automatically, why manually creating XML views is required and followed by a brief demo. XML views or groups in Power Center is the way in which relationship between elements in the XML hierarchy is defined. The XML views can be automatically generated while creating the definition in Designer using Entity Relationship option, Hierarchy Normalized or Denormalized option and the Custom XML view option. The last option is to create XML views manually or do not generate, do not generate XML views option. And now let's see why do we have to create the XML views manually. When the complexity of the XML schema definition increases and if the number of elements and attributes to be imported is large, we can choose not to generate XML views. Instead of automatically generating the views using one of the options of Entity Relationship Hierarchy Normalized or Denormalized, we create them manually only for the required set of elements and attributes. This gives us better control in creating the definition according to our needs and also greatly improves performance since we need not load the DOM tree for all the elements and attributes defined in the schema. Now let's see a quick demo on how to create the XML views manually in Power Center. Right now we are seeing a sample schema definition file which contains a lot of complex types, global complex types and also elements which have multiple occurring elements, a lot of multiple occurring elements. Let me import that sample.xsd file into the designer. And when it comes to the step 2, we have to choose do not generate XML views. Click on finish. And now you get a definition with no elements or attributes in the definition. It's, it's just the skeleton or the framework. Double click on it to get the XML editor and there are no views generated in the workspace. On the left hand side is the XML navigator where we can see the complete metadata from the XML schema definition file. Let's now create the views manually. Before that let's sort the metadata on the left hand side in the navigator by hierarchy, sort by hierarchy. And right click on the flex data to show the XPath navigator and you can see the complete hierarchy flex data is the root element under which there are number of child elements doc number grant or grantee legal return address and xref except for the doc number the other elements are multiple occurring elements as you can see from the plus sign next to it to create a new XML view, click on the XML Views menu and click on Create XML View and it brings up a empty view here. So doc number is one of the child element and underneath doc number we have the attribute called field type, an element called full text and another element called spatial line which again is a multiple occurring element. Let's drag and drop the field type into this empty view and expand full text it has a attribute called average care confidence we'll drag and drop the average care confidence so normally we don't have to drag the enclosure elements unless and until it is a mixed content so as of now I've just dragged and dropped the two attributes which constitutes the doc number and for every multiple occurring element we have to create a new view you can create a new view from the XML views menu or you can click on this option create an XML view so I'm creating a new view and for this grantor grantee multiple occurring element I have created a new view and dragging and dropping into this new view so as you can see the field type has been dragged and dropped full text is another child element under which we have average care confidence okay and then again we have a special line person company and trust which are again multiple occurring elements 
Now the grantor grantee is the child element of flex data. So we have to create a relationship between the grantor grantee view and the flex data view. So right click on the grantor grantee view and click on create relationship and drag on top of the flex data view. So this establishes a one to many relationship between the flex data and grantor grantee. Automatically the XPK flex data is created and the FK flex data is created. So under grantor grantee we do have a spatial line which is a child element and which is again a multiple occurring. So as mentioned before for every multiple occurring element we have to create a new view. So let me create one more view expand spatial line drag and drop page number I'm just dragging and dropping some sample elements so now we have to right click on the spatial line view and create relationship to the grantor grantee so this way you can keep adding the XML views and connecting the relationships between the views so I'll just show few more creation of views now so click on new view and under flex data we have created doc number and we have also created the grantor grantee view now let's create for the legal legal is again a multiple occurring and so we created a new view for it and as long as it is single occurring it can be part of the same view so under legal the legal 1, legal 2, legal 3, legal 4, legal 5 and municipality all are of single occurring so I can create them in the same view itself and under legal one we do see a spatial line which is a multiple occurring so we create a new view for it and expand spatial line drag and drop into the new view right click on spatial line create relationship and connect it to legal and legal will be connected to flex data so this way you can keep creating the views manually and you can choose the elements and attributes that you want to be in the XML definition instead of bringing the complete list of elements and attributes which can consume a lot of CPUs and uh, memory while running the session. Now let me do apply changes and then exit from this XML editor and now we can see the XML views in the XML definition itself with this we come to the end of this video we would love to hear back from you and you can send your feedback to support videos at informatica.com or twitter.com slash infosupport thank you